Hi, my name is James Tamplin, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Firebase. Firebase is a scalable, real-time backend. So that means that you, a developer, can build applications that work completely in real time, and you don't need servers, databases, or infrastructure. So typically, when you're building a web application, you use a three-tier architecture. You have a client, like a mobile phone or a desktop browser, that will speak through the firewall to an application server. This typically runs Python, PHP, Ruby, which will speak down to your database. This is MySQL, MongoDB. What we're doing with Firebase is we're changing this, and we're moving to a two-tier architecture. So with Firebase, you have JavaScript code using the Firebase library that runs on the client, which talks through the firewall directly to Firebase. So this has several benefits. So first of all, you don't need to manage any ops, servers, or scaling. Second of all, we maintain a real-time bi-directional communication to the client. Uh, and this means, or this uh, typically with existing server stacks, this is very difficult to do. Uh, and third of all, we provide a synchronization approach. Um, so just like Dropbox, everyone works off of one master copy of the data, uh, and changes made to any piece of data are synchronized to potentially thousands of clients connected to Firebase at any one time. So modern applications are pushing data changes to users in real time. So Facebook, as soon as somebody writes on your wall, you see it immediately. Google Docs, you see text changes character by character. Um, and users are coming to expect this behavior. And this behavior is default out of the box with Firebase. So you can build modern, real-time applications with just front-end code in a fraction of the time it used to take you. So we deal with real-time data, and there is deluges of data coming down the pipe now with connected devices. Uh, everything is emitting some piece of data. Um, so analytics around this data uh, is the next big challenge for us personally, and I think for the infrastructure space as a whole. Um, there are folks out there like Hadoop um, and Cassandra, who do analytics on very large sets of data, um, but very large sets of real-time data is uh, continuing to be a, a difficult problem.